It is not clear whether 51-year-old Howard Liebengood's death was connected to Wednesday's events at the U.S. Capitol. Washington, U.S. Capitol Police said Sunday that an off-duty officer with the department has died. According to officials, the officer, Howard Liebengood, 51, died on Saturday, January 9. A spokesperson with the U.S. Capitol Police said Liebengood was assigned to the Senate Division and had been with the department since April 2005. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family, friends, and colleagues. We ask that his family and other USCP offices and their families' privacy be respected during this profoundly difficult time, the department said in a release. According to the Associated Press, he was the son of a former Senate sergeant at arms. It is not clear whether Liebengood's death was connected to Wednesday's events. Elected officials across the Commonwealth of Virginia have expressed their sympathy and offered condolences to Liebengood's family. Senator Mark Warner, D. Virginia, released a statement on social media offering condolences in regards to Liebengood's death. I'm saddened to learn about the death of USCP officer Howard Liebengood. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends. May he rest in peace. Thank you for your service, Warner said. Virginia Representative Jennifer Wexton also expressed her sympathy regarding the news of Liebengood's death, stating that Liebengood was one of her constituents in the Commonwealth. I'm deeply saddened to learn about the death of USCP officer Howard Liebengood. Officer Liebengood served with USCP for 15 years, continuing a family tradition of protecting the U.S. Senate, Wexton said, he was my constituent. My heart breaks for his family, his loved ones, and our community. News of Howard Liebengood's death comes days after rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol, breaching all police barricades and forcefully entering the building. The Capitol was placed on lockdown, police ordered evacuations, and the certification of electoral college votes, which had just begun minutes before rioters broke in, was delayed. D.C. police confirmed to WUSA 9 that four people died over the course of the day, including one woman who was shot by Capitol Police as a mob attempted to break into the House chamber. Two men and another woman died of medical complications, unrelated to firearms. This is a developing story that will be updated once more information becomes available. Stay with WUSA 9 for the latest.